Fool me once, fool me twice Shame. When you're hiding things, might as well be lies Can you ever get it right? How long will I let this fly? Hit up my girls, pull up, I'm outside Wait about a curb, too upset to drive you Get no money About to do a quick grocery store haul because me and dad is on our way back outside. Got our Hello Fresh box. We'll pull that stuff out later though. So, and y'all saw pretty much what I got from Walmart. Got this toy for Diego. He likes to tear stuff up, so I'll be trying to buy him cheap toys because ain't no sense of buying him the fancy stuff because he's just gonna tear it up anyway. Let me cut this plastic off. Look, D. Look what mommy got you. New toy. You want a new toy? <coughs> Yo, <I'm> here. <laughs> here. <laughs> you crazy. So now we can start putting up this these groceries, Dad. I'm gonna pull them out and hand them to you. Sun Kiss Strawberry Lemonade. Cranberry ginger ale. My son is the soda drinker around here. Dad'll drink some of it, but he don't drink it like my son would do. Then we got the blackberry lemonade. Gotta have that. Regular mini mini lemonade. Dad likes these. These are the Arizonas. This one is the mango, and this is fruit punch. We got two of each of these. Got some breakfast sausage. This is turkey breakfast sausage. Turkey bacon. So I got the bre breakfast sausage links, and I got the patties. We got a bag of yellow potatoes. I'm gonna make my 
potato corn chowder, y'all. It's going to be so good. This is what I was excited about, y'all. I love when these come out. So this is the pumpkin. Y'all, I love these. They so good, but they only come around out around this time. So I got two boxes of these. And then they had some apple cider ones. I haven't tried this, but the uh, cashier said these was good. So I'm glad I got them. Got us some bananas. My son like bananas and he be making smoothies with the bananas. Got my son some of these scorching hot. This one is sour cream and onion, but loaded nacho scorching. Greek yogurt too. So this is just plain non-fat Greek yogurt. Um, and I like yogurt. And I got these because they were high in fiber too. And um, it's got flax seeds in it. So this one is the vanilla and blueberry. Um, carrots for the chowder. I just chopped these up. Let's put that in there. Spaghetti sauce for the tortellini soup. Roasted garlic spaghetti sauce. And I got Guy Fieri spicy tomato garlic sauce. I don't care what kind of garlic uh, spaghetti sauce you buy, you gotta doctor it up any kind of way. So it really doesn't matter. But I like mixing like different flavors of spaghetti sauce. I don't like to just have one flavor. So I got some raspberries to go in the parfait and I got a pack for my son. He likes raspberries too. We got some strawberries. Looks like my raspberries were spilling. We got black uh, blackberries and we got blueberries. Y'all know what though? The produce that has been in the stores lately has just not been good at all. Um, I got this bag of frozen fruit for me and my son to make our smoothies. So this one has, let's see, it's got strawberries, mangoes, and wild berries in it. And he usually adds like a banana or something in there to make it real, real good. These strawberry crunch bars. We got blueberry lemonade. We got pink lemonade. Some popcorn. I had to get some more of the vanilla oat milk that I like. My son used mine up for his smoothie. Well, I got some almond milk in there too. I like almond milk. We got some mini made lemonade. I mean, fruit punch. Work. Y'all remember this? Y'all remember that. Dad likes that. We got me some avocados for breakfast. Now, how many of y'all is the OG? Y'all been with me for a minute. Y'all remember when I used to make the tomatoes, the eggs, and the um, the um, avocado cold salad thing in the morning? Got so I'm gonna be making that. I got my tomatoes. Y'all, I saw these avocados at the store. I've never seen these avocados ever. But it was, I don't know, I was intrigued. <laughs> they look different. But these are avocados. So don't they look crazy? So we gonna open that up in the morning and see what that tastes like. I think that's everything we got. So I'm gonna get ready to put all this stuff away and we gonna back outside and we'll see y'all in a minute. We are getting ready to make some dinner and good old Hello Fresh is what we're making. It's not sponsored girl. I've been getting Hello Fresh for like three years now, I think. The first year I was like on and off. In the second year, I was like more consistent, but I done had them like over a whole year straight now. So we in like clean, but I got a PSA announcement for HelloFresh. So this is what we making tonight, y'all. We making, can y'all see that? This is what we're making tonight. Cajun tilapia and it's like red beans and rice with it. So y'all know I love HelloFresh because that grocery store, like I, I don't want to. Not having to really think about what I'm gonna cook and go get all the stuff. Like I love HelloFresh for that. However, I do have a PSA for HelloFresh because I got an email recently talking about you can get 16 free breakfasts and like nine free boxes and all of this other stuff for new so new people that sign up. What about the people like me that's been with y'all for years? Like why can't we get discounts? Like if somebody does a um. They do like a sponsorship with HelloFresh, which I should, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't have them for real in real life all this time. But when somebody does a sponsorship and gives their like coupon code, I still can't even use that coupon code. That's stupid. That's dumb. Like, why wouldn't somebody that's been with HelloFresh this whole time not be able to do that? So, y'all know what I'm finna do, right? <laughs> when you have people returning customers, those are the ones that you treat the best new customers is just coming in they trying to test and see if they really want to they not sure but if you got people that's been coming back over and over and over and over 
those the ones you want to keep. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't saying don't give the new people no deal, but the people that's been there, they should absolutely get all the perks. Period. So, hello, fresh, if you're watching, get it together. Okay, now I've been talking a lot. Let's get this dinner started. I get to it first, I got you mad. I guess that when I get to it last. Get it, then I'm never going back. Get it, then I'm never going back. I get to it first, I got you mad. I guess that when I get to it last. Get it, then I'm never going back. Get it, then I'm never going back. Up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Get it, then I'm never going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Get it, then I'm never going. I get to it off the runway. Different incomes, not one way. Living life on a one way. I knew this would happen someday. You can ask my day one day. Cloudy days turn to sun rays. Only way to way up way. Know my way, know my feng shui. I get to it first, I got you mad. I guess that when I get to it last. Get it, then I'm never going back. Get it, then I'm never going back. I get to it first, I got you mad. I guess that when I get to it last. Get it, then I'm never going back. Get it, then I'm never going back. Going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Going up. Get it, then I'm never going up, going up, going up. Going up, going up, going up, going up Get it, then I'm never going Different summer, different car keys I'm the life of the party Might buy a bike like a Harley Totally do so gnarly God got me, can't harm me I got armor and an army Battle scars, battle smartly Just forever like a Sharpie I get to it first, I got you mad I guess that when I get to it last Get it, then I'm never going back Get it, then I'm never going back I get to it first, I got you mad I guess that when I get to it last Get it that I'm never going back Get it that I'm never going back up, Going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up Get it that I'm never going up, going up, going up So this is what it is giving our red beans and rice with our Cajun tilapia Yes it is on a paper plate in case you was on your way over to wash my dishes Okay, yes it is, but it looks good and I am about to eat and leave no crumbs. Okay, I had to go in here and sit down and say my grace and all that, but honey, we had this meal before, but it's been a while. It's good. The fish is cooked. It's cooked. Seasoned. Okay. Mama know what you're doing. Mm. And then the red beans and rice. The lemony rice. Mm-hmm. Then you get, a, get you a little scoop for the rice and the beans and say, ah! So, yeah. Just when I was talking shit about it fresh, they know I don't want to leave. They know I don't want to leave. This is so, this, this, this too much. Okay. Bye, y'all. Hey, y'all. So, I just got out the shower and I'm getting ready to um, do my skincare and put some clothes on. We just going to eat some Mexican food. It is the middle of the afternoon, pretty much almost into the evening. What time is it? Oh, it's 3.59. So yeah, I am getting ready to just do my skincare and throw some clothes on real quick. So before I get started with my skincare and get dressed, I wanted to share today's scripture with y'all. So it is Numbers 6, 24 through 26. It says, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. I have just been getting so many like messages like lately, like just saying like, hold on, God's got you, God's timing is everything. And you know, it's going to be well worth, you know, everything you've struggled for, fought for, cried for, la you know, not laugh for, but you know what I'm saying? Like it's going to be worth it because God don't miss. Um, and today's word was more kind of like um, affirmation and prayer and everything. So it says today's word. Today I declare you are blessed with wisdom and that you make good choices in life. I declare that you are blessed with courage, with strength, with great vision, with an obedient heart and with, pos with a positive outlook. I declare you are blessed with good health, with vitality, and that you live a long, satisfied life. I declare you are blessed with good family, good friends, healthy relationships, and that your children will be mighty in the land. I declare you are blessed with protection. 
I declare you are blessed with promotion, with good success, with ideas, with creativity. I declare that whatever you put your hands on will prosper. You will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. You will be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. I declare that you will lend and not borrow. You will be above and never beneath. I declare a new sense of freedom from whatever holds you back, a new happiness, a new fulfillment. If you receive this blessing, say amen. Amen. <laughs> And it says, Father, thank you for setting me apart with your distinctive blessing and your shining of your face upon me. Thank you for guiding me, protect, protecting me, favoring me, and giving me an advantage. I believe that I am blessed to be one of your own special people. In Jesus' name, amen, 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 amen. Okay, girl, that is the word of the day. And we is about to get into this skincare routine. I am definitely hungry. So I'm going to go in with this cleanser by Josie Mary. This is the Pineapple Enzyme Pour clearing cleanser and I've been liking this as a nice gel like lightweight cleansing um cleanser for in the morning I like to use I love the smell it just kind of it definitely has a pineapple smell and um thank you Keiko for putting me onto this because I just the pineapple gives me like a I don't know it like wakes me up like so I, I do really like this even though it's not like a super deep cleanser but for in the morning it's cool and it has that like slippery aloe vera type of feel so I do like it for this it just feels good on the skin <laughs> Let me tell y'all what this lady said to me at work yesterday. She called me because she had to ask me a question or whatever. She's like a manager, like a like um, she's like right up under a director or whatever. And she's cool. She um, she's a lesbian or whatever, and she's always been like super cool with me. And she just is real chill. She called to ask me a question. She gonna say, "How you doing, Denise?" I was like, "I'm good," because you know we don't really see each other no more. How you doing, Denise? I said, oh, I'm hanging in there. She was like, yeah, I'm hanging in there too. Kind of feel like I'm hanging by a noose. I just got quiet like, did she just say that? Like, and I think after I got quiet, she realized what she said. And she was like, I, I, you know, it's just been so crazy around here. We've just been so busy. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> People just don't even think before they talk. Like, you need to think before you talk and know who you talking to. I'm like, did she just say that to a black person? Okay, these people crazy. What you want, child, so you can get off my damn phone? So thank you to everybody that watched my blog and enjoyed the last vlog, getting to know me and all of that. I did watch that vlog back, and I was like, let me clarify a few statements here, okay? I'm gonna go in with this uh, Glow Toner by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm trying to use it a little more consistently so I can really see if I like it. But yeah, um, so when I was talking about the bra and panty comment, like I think it should match. Mine specifically match that my outfit that day, but I didn't mean like, oh, it's gotta match your outfit. Like I, if it match your outfit, that's cool. That's cute. That's even better. But if it don't, I ain't saying like, <laughs> you know, I would say they should match each other. You can have on a orange outfit and a green bra and panty. I don't care, but I'm just saying your bra and panty should match. That's just what I was saying. You know how you watch stuff and you're like, I ain't mean it like that. I mean it like this, you know? So I was like, let me clarify that. And the statement I made about, I was like, when dudes be trying to show they designer and they watches and they jewelry and all of that, and like that's corny to me. It is corny to me. And I said what I said. But I feel like when girls do it, like, cause we do it all the time. We always got our bags and, the, and shoes and, you know, we always are kind of showing our designer pieces. I don't know. It just seemed like when women do it, it's mm, not corny as it is when uh, it's not corny it's like but when a man do it it's like he i don't know he's stunting and it just seemed corny i don't know it's, it seems feminine to me it seems girly so i don't know am i wrong for for making a difference between you know men and women doing it i don't care that's just how i feel but th that's just my opinion like of course people gonna do what they want to do okay charlotte Feeling all right today, girl. Get my decolletage. So I'm about to go in with this by La Roche-Posay. This is their um, Hyaluronic Acid B5 Serum. So I haven't tried this yet. So I'm using some products that I know I love or like and some products that I haven't tried before. So yeah, this one I have not tried before. So yeah, um, I don't know what we're gonna do after we go get something to eat. We really don't have any plans for the evening it's just kind of like a chill friday but y'all know something i did tell myself that i want to do this weekend is take a nap i want to take a nap i have not taken a nap since last year 
And when I did, it was because I didn't feel good. It was like after my dad had died and I was doing all this like running around and stuff, you know, trying to get his affairs in order and go back to Atlanta and clean out his apartment. And it was just a lot, you know? And I felt like my guy just was like, you gotta sit down. So I actually had got sick for like three days. I wasn't feeling good at all. And that's like the last time I took a nap. So I was like, this weekend, you need to take the time out and try to take a nap. So when is the last time y'all took a nap? Cause I wish I could take naps, but I just, it ain't enough time in a day. <laughs> like by the time I'm trying to take a nap, girl, it's bedtime anyway. Okay, that feels good on the skin. We'll see how it soaks in. So I'm gonna go in with this Ocean Eyes by OC. I'm almost done with it. I don't recommend it though. It's not, it's not giving anything extra to the eye routine. Like, so yeah, not for the price either. I got a, a, a plenty of other OC products that I could recommend, but this is not one of them. I'm going in with my Caffeine Eye Cream by Inky List. I like this, it depuffs my eyes. It do take about an hour for it to like depuff the way I like it, but make my eyes not look so tired, but it do work and it's affordable and cheap, but it's not super moisturizing. So that's why I put that serum up underneath. Like I probably, I usually put something with it to give it a little more moisture, but I like the deep puffing effect that it gives. I want to try that Bye Bye Eye Bags by It Cosmetics, but that's like $40. I and mean, this is probably like less than $10. So I don't know. I'm going to try, I'm gonna try it because $40, I want to see if it works. But yeah, I just feel like, and that's another reason why I want to take a nap. Because I'm like, girl, the bags are bagging. And I don't, I just been looking just too tired. But I have been tired. So I don't want to look tired though. You know what I'm saying? You ever seen somebody, they look like what they've been through. I don't want to look like what I've been through. Okay. I should have put this vitamin C serum on first, but I'm still put it on. Anyway, this is by Neogen and I really like this one because it's uh 22%. But yeah, so why after um, I made dinner last night, I was cleaning up, right? So I'm putting my pots and pans away because um, they go in like this cabinet, like an under cabinet, and it's a shelf inside the under cabinet for you to sit other pots and pans on. So I'm putting them on there and the shelf like breaks. I'm like, ain't this a bitch? I'm like, oh my gosh. So I have to take the pots and pans out so I can nigger rig it basically and put it, put it back up, right? Dad comes in while I'm doing it. He asks me what I'm doing. I tell him what I'm doing. And he like, I don't know why you keep using them big heavy ass slave pots anyway. I'm like, oh, oh okay, you gonna call my pot slave pots? They only slave pots when your ass be having that food out of them do that. That's probably why they taste good, huh? <laughs> Cause girl, I do love me some cast iron. I ain't gonna hold you. I've always liked um, cooking in cast iron skillets. Plus, um, uh, years, years, years ago, um, when I had went to the doctor and you know they was like, okay, you gotta get your iron up because you know you're anemic, so you need to keep your iron up or whatever. And one of his suggestions was to eat out of um, cook in cast iron skillets because as you're eating, cooking the food in them, the iron does penetrate into your food and your iron levels potentially will go up. And I'm like, what? That sounds like a whole bunch of bullshit. <laughs> like the iron gets into your, but I started doing it and my iron did go up. Like it did go up. It wasn't anything like a dramatic jump, but it was going up. And that was before I got the liquid iron to start taking. Um, every day. So I just always like, you know, was like, okay, I'm gonna just keep my cast iron skillets and always cook out of them. But girl, after he called my pot slave pots, now I'm like, okay, now I need new pots. So now I'm on the hunt for some new pots. I want some nice new pots, but I still want cast iron. So I don't know. I don't know. I gotta figure it out because I want some nice new pots. So I'm gonna get some. I know a lot of the girls get the caraway ones and it's some other ones that the girls get. Um, so I'm gonna look into getting me some new pots because he ain't just gonna be talking about my pots, calling them slave pots. Like, mm. I'm gonna go in with this by Elements. This is the Superfood Sika Calm Hydration Juice. I absolutely love, love, love this. This could almost be a moisturizer. It's so freaking good. And it's just for daytime according to the uh, packaging. And I already emptied one of these. So this is a new one. So I'm gonna use this because and it gives you like a cooling effect on your face. Like this is one of my favorite products from Elemis. One, one of my favorite products period for daytime, for real. And I haven't used it in a while because after I emptied that other one, I was like, okay, I'm gonna chill and start using some other stuff. So I haven't 
use this in a while but oh, it feels so good and moisturizing hydrating hydrating that's what it is i'm gonna take this spray by the rose pose and just spray down let that soak in okay so for moisturizer today i'm gonna use this one by skin suticles this is the phyto a plus brightening treatment daily corrective moisturizer i only use this one so i'm gonna use it again and see what it's giving okay it's kind of like a balmy texture okay and this is supposed to be a moisturizer so let's put this on for our moisturizer today so y'all finally did my um perfume collection video so i did tell y'all in the last vlog that i did that and that will be coming um out soon y'all just y'all know that editing takes a minute for that because <laughs> it's so many hours long um but yeah that's coming soon and why when i was um going through my collection you know i was looking to see like okay what do you want to get rid of what do you not wear you know blah 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 so i was going through my initials and i don't even know if i said it in the video but i don't I, if i did and i never told y'all the story about how i was wearing um ooh for greatness one day it was day night girl i was like ooh, i am about to wear ooh for greatness because all the girls love it and i love it so ooty it's like a I would say it's like Baccarat with much more oud and it's not as sweet as Baccarat. Like it's like dry, a dry sweetness, if that makes sense. And it's a little spicy too. Um, but the oud is definitely ooding, okay, for sure. So I was like, I'm about to wear this. I'm about to slay with this on this sexy black thing on because I really like the way it smells. And I'm spraying it, and she, you know, everybody was like, don't spray a lot, don't spray a lot, you don't need a lot. But I was spraying, I was like, I mean, it's not choking me out. I don't feel like I smell it the way everybody else is saying they smell it. So I'm like, still just spraying, girl. Spray my cloth, spray like I normally do. Maybe not as heavy, but definitely like an in-between heavy, okay? Girl, so we go on our date, da, da, da. we like a couple hours into the day. We like back in the car at this time. And dad like, which, what, um, what kind of perfume you got on? And I was like, it's called, <laughs> I got all like, you know, cause I'm like trying to act like I know more than him. It's called Ooh for Greatness. It's by Initio and da, da, da. He was like, you smell like a man. I was like, I smell like a man, man. He was like, yeah and that's ooh so you don't need to be spraying that much if it's ooh i'm like oh, oh my god so embarrassing when you thought you killed it and he like that one ain't it baby that ain't me <laughs> like damn so i ain't been reaching for ooh for greatness like ever since that day you know what i'm saying that was like probably like it, it had to be cold for sure either way at the beginning of this year or the end of last year one or two so I ain't worth it. So when I did my fragrance collection video this time, let me put my sunscreen on. I'm gonna use this Dermalogica. This is SPF 50. And let me do my two fingers for the sunscreen police. There you go, girls. Yeah, so I, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, when I did my perfume collection video, I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna give dad this, you know what I'm saying? Cause he said it smelled like a man. So I'm gonna just give it to him and let him have it. So <laughs> last night he came in my room um, and he was just looking at my collection. He was about telling me I need another shelf here. And I said, I ain't getting another shelf nowhere until we move, okay? Cause, talking about, Cause all that's gonna make me do is buy more perfume. No, no, no. And this room is too small. So anyway, we was talking about that and I was like, man, I got a couple of uh, fragrances I can give to you or whatever. He's like, which ones? Let me see. And I pulled out Ooh for Greatness. I said, you remember this one? I was like, this the one you said I smell like a man. And he was like, let me smell it. Girl, he smelled it. He was like, mm-mm. This one is like the church deacon. <laughs> he was like, this is giving pastor jerome rome like no mm -mm. he was like it's mm -mm. it's definitely something you gotta wear in the cold and i'm like i know that's the only time you would wear it is in the cold he was like no nah, that one i ain't feeling that one too much so he he wasn't feeling uber greatness and he likes ooh but he likes mfk ooh 
Um, he, he does have a bottle of that MFK Oud, just the regular Oud, not satin Oud, silk Oud, or nothing, it's just Oud. And it, it, it's another one he wears with Oud, but that's the one I know that he likes, and that's definitely a different smell than Oud for greatness, you know what I'm saying? So I know I look crazy, but I like to let my um, sunscreen just kind of sit and melt into my skin after I put it on because I could just keep rubbing and keep rubbing and keep rubbing but for what like I don't I don't need to keep rubbing it's gonna soak in so we about to go in there and get dressed and by the time I get dressed girl this is all gonna be soaked in but girl yeah he was like no that is giving church deacon the deacon that done stole the damn building offering because we take a building offering every week and put a dope live on this dang old church honey that deacon done stole the money we're ooh for greatness. Mm, mm, mm. i 